All right, good day everybody. Here at the shop, it's a Friday. It's about noon, kind of had to shoot this video during break. We got so many projects going on, trying to keep the background noise down and the music and whatnot. But uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. Let's get to this. We're doing a Country Coach 2007 Intrigue. It's gonna be very similar to the Magna and the Allure, but we're gonna be doing it on the Intrigue and we're gonna use the spare wires to put in the brake control. So we'll go over this real quick. I've got a bunch of things torn apart. So we're gonna start at the very back of the coach. We've got the uh, factory tow plug here. We've ran a 12 gauge red wire down here. That's gonna replace the t brake wire right here, which was a 14 gauge. Okay, so we've ran it through the heat insulator, came all the way up here to the top, put it into its own loom, shot it across the back of the coach made our way to right here and then this labeled wire here that says d that came off of this strip up here so this is the spares terminal strip at the back of the coach that was factory installed you got another d wire here which is going to be black that's going to go to the dash and then this yellow and black here there's labeled b if i remember correctly those go to the inverter bay so we've got that that's going to be our wire that's going to go to the back and then we're going to have it go right into the back there. While we're back here, we're going to touch real quick on what Country Coach has called the tow board. So this tow board takes all the coach signals and then has fuses for the outputs. This is one of the newer generation boards that's already been replaced from the factory. But And then this is where you switch between tow combo brakes and tow separate brakes. All right, so I just wanted to touch base on that. Those are going to be located in different locations throughout different country coaches and so on and so forth. But on this Intrigue and Allures 2007 to the end, they're pretty much all going to be right here. On an 06 Magna and whatnot, it's going to be in a bag right around here. And then after anything that's got the diesel particulate filter, it's going to move up to the inverter bay. And same with the Intrigue, it'll move to the inverter bay also. So let's make our way up to the front and we'll show you the connections at the front and where that's going. So all right, now we're inside the coach. Here next to the driver's seat, below the shift console, you'll find the spares wrapped up in the corner. A good thing to remember is most spares on Country Coach, instead of being electrical taped together, they're gonna be masking taped. And that way in production, if they need to use them, they could tear them apart easier than cutting a bunch of electrical tape. So there's those two wires. They come up at here. They're both labeled D as they were in the rear. We're only going to use the red because that's going to be our output from our brake controller going to the rear of the coach. Wrap this black one up here for future use for the next guy. The brake controller is going to end up right here. Kind of made a custom bracket to be able to install that and keep it level and nice and neat and out of the way. So we'll get all these components put in. We'll show you how we test this. All right, here we are a day or two later. I've had to do a bunch of stuff in the middle of all this. So now we've come in, hooked up the blue brake out to that D wire. And then we've got the red trigger coming up here, going into the red for the brake controller. And then the black is going to be the 12 volt source. That's up here. And then that, that ground hooked onto that bus bar right there. That's where your connections for the inside are going to be. Show you the back and the front rim box. So here in the front rim box, tied into this CP up here, which is going to be chassis power to the ignition solenoid. Pull it down into there. Hooked it up to that circuit breaker right there. Labeled that brake control 12 volts. Then you see this let relay labeled up here, brake lights. Tagged into it for the signal going up to the dash. And then that's gonna be your connections up here in the front. Run box. And then those wires come across here. We'll turn those zip ties up. Then they go up through the floor right there. All right, here we go. This will be the last segment of this here video. So here we've got the uh, Electronic brake force meter test. So we've got this plugged in here. Got this here. We're gonna run it over here. 
It doesn't have a 45 foot cable, of course, because it's made for uh, new cars and pickups and so on and so forth, but we'll set it here. Lean it up against the old creeper here. Brake controllers lit up, showing that there's a connection. So we apply the brakes. There's a level there. And slide the handle across the bottom simulate that there so then we can come out here you probably won't be able to see it just because it's so small or way back there but you can actually watch that light bar go up and down as you run the controller up and down all test out good so I just want to do one little quick thing here on the tow board again so we've got that aftermarket tow board yeah Brian keys makes these and supplies them to us as an OEM replacement. At one point I was building them, but uh, I kind of got over that. And so here's one of the factory boards. And so on the keys, when you have that AB switch to do combined and um, separate, and as you'll see here, it says the jumper instructions, A for this, B for that. And so there's that jumper. And then there's the seven and a half amp fuses on this particular tow board. There is older generations that look a little different, but this sums it up. It's made by Vicky in the fifth month of, uh, looks like 2005. So, all right. Hey, I want to thank everybody. Hopefully you made it through to the end of the video. Tried to keep it quick here and simple. Um, thanks again. Hope you all are liking these videos. We'll keep up the Tech Tuesdays here and keep them going. Uh, please subscribe. Hit that notification button, the likes, leave some comments below for what you'd like to see maybe on future Tech Tuesdays. And if you're not subscribing, please subscribe because those really matter to me right now. I'm trying to get monetized to be able to help Google pay for all these fine videos for you guys so we can keep producing these. So thanks again. Hope you all have a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye. All right, so here we are at the back of a Magna. I just wanted to kind of show you a couple other products where the spares were. So on this fine coach here, we've taken and put a spare strip here on the side at the rear. And then this would be a 2007 Magna. And then up here in the very... So in the front run box on a 2007 Magna and five, six, all the way till the end at the front, you'll always find this uh, terminal strip buried back in here by the uh, Busman fuse holders. And that's where you'll find those now. So here we are on an Inspire. We get two lonely wires, but they're going to be located here on this terminal strip on this uh, right hand side up in the front run box again. And then here we are on that Inspire again, just above the battery at the rear location. The two of them that you see there go directly to that front run box. So <clears throat> few options to be able to find some spares. Thanks everybody.